Um, I was going to say there, um, one of them nowadays, I'm not sure why, but they just seem to be so self-destructive in their nature. All this femininity, uh, trying to be equal to men, they don't realise that they're putting a, them in a position that they've stopped attracting men. Like, my case for example, I've never really, you know, I've tried to like women for years and they're frightening. Fucking hell, there's no other way to put it. That, that, that's the thing, Andrew Tate tends to say it a lot, overconfident women always a red flag right there. Cause like back in the day, women, they used to look after the man, make sure he was all good. Like, in return, the woman, she would then get support from the man, she would be looked after, the man would give her everything that she would need, as long as she would support him. And then, and then you know what annoys me so much? The fact that the women are like, Oh, we're so oppressed. Oh, our man doesn't love us. I wonder why. <laughs> Maybe because you need to be taken to all the high quality places. You want to show off to your friends. It's all about how people see you. They're not focusing on the partner, on the relationship. There's, they're focusing on all the outside factors on the equation. Exactly. Things have changed nowadays. I know. Um, that's why people like Andrew Tate and Alex Jones and many other creators out there are all doing the same thing right now and they're all trying to speak the truth. And whatever podcast does a great job at that. <coughs> have you seen the whatever podcast? The whatever podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say I have. It's pretty much um, they get a bunch of OnlyFans models, and then some people are like um, <coughs> people who <coughs> people who do stuff on um, people who do stuff on trying to educate people and also political talks and stuff. They come on as well and try and debate of the OnlyFans models on their ideologies in life and what they try and promote for the youngsters and say, oh, it's okay to sell your body online. I've seen clips of that, if I'm honest. Yeah. That's when somebody just comes in with complete valid, logical arguments. Yep, yep because... Then all the women just get, get up, walk get, out, cause because they can't accept the truth. Yeah, I, 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 I find it sad for the, the guy who has to do it, the guy who hosts the podcast, he's been doing this for nearly two years now, where every single day he is live on the podcast with some, like a big table of hoes, and he's just got to sit there and debunk them every single day. Like, props to that guy. <laughs> could you do that? I can't say I could. I don't have the balls to stand up to lasses like that. But I'd probably prefer my guys. It, Much it, it, easier, honestly. Exactly, I was in my old store today and I, I wish I could just stand up. That <laughs> was very <laughs> disrespectful to me when she handed me her food because she is very butthurt She's like, about the repercussions that happened. I cannot go into detail about that because I do not want to lose my job. <coughs> I can't talk about what I'm choking out here. But yeah, it was quite funny. <laughs> She actually slammed his McDonald's right down. Before he even got a chance to say thank you, she turned a 180, was storming away. I know, and I, w I was even just trying to be nice as well. I wasn't even trying to start an argument. I genuinely was saying thank you, and uh, I walked up with my own F and trying to be nice. <laughs> and then she kind of just looked at me with like a stern face and then just. It's not his fault, but she's bad at her job. Exactly. <laughs> The thing is, but yeah, we're, we're going to go back to this video, guys, and, uh, and then we're going to get a chat about 